hell is scary. They've gone into some detail of why hell is scary, but heaven doesn't sound that much greater in comparison to me. Like hell, if you've read like Dante's Inferno, which I have because I'm smarter than you, uh, <laughs> you'll know that there's, there's all these layers to hell. Like the first layer is like a river of boiling feces you swim in a thousand years, and then the second layer you eat rust for a thousand years, and the third layer you shit that rust out for a thousand. Very painful. Don't try it. So you're like, well, what's the other side? What's the other side of that? It's like, well, we haven't really. There's a harp. That's as much as we know. A harp. Can you imagine what it would be like if you gave up all the awesome stuff in life, like marijuana and going to raves in order to get to heaven? And you get up there, and the pearly gates are like, hey, welcome to heaven. Here's your harp. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> really? This is okay. And you're a good Christian, so you try to make the best of it. Just, I'll just play it and see what happens. <laughs> a thousand years goes by. Ten thousand years later, are you f***ing kidding me? Are you serious? This is all there is to heaven, this harp? Is there anything else? Yeah, there's one more treat. You get to hang out with your family forever. <laughs> yeah, you remember the last time you spent the afternoon with your mom? You remember that? You remember that moment where you're like, I gotta get the f*** out of here now! That's when forever begins, right there in that moment with your mom on the cloud next to you complaining about your harp skills and how nobody wants to hear you play harp anyway. You're not that good at harp. Nobody wants to hear you telling jokes. Sorry.